Hi and welcome to Angular 5 Fundamentals by Christopher Noring and Pablo Dielman, a video course by Pact Publishing. I'm Mark Thomas and I'll be the presenter for this course. Christopher Noring is a software developer with more than 10 years of experience. He successfully delivered software for different industries ranging from telecom to aviation. Throughout his career he's worked on everything, right from databases to front ends. He's very passionate about community and sharing knowledge, which is why he frequently speaks on topics ranging from TDD, React and NativeScript to Angular. He also writes books and blogs frequently. He holds the title of Google Developer Expert in Web Technologies at AngularJS Anglia. He's also a Telerik Developer Expert in the mobile framework, NativeScript. Christopher currently works for McKinsey as a full-stack developer. He's the author and maintainer of the book RxJS Ultimate, which aims to be a free resource to help the community. Pablo Dielman is a former UI UX developer who fell in love with JavaScript and CSS back in 1998 during the good old days of Netscape Navigator and Microsoft Internet Explorer 3. The discovery of Node.js back in 2011 became a turning point in his career, from where he decided to embrace full-time JavaScript-driven development, carving out a career as a JavaScript full-stack engineer with special focus on single-page application development. With sound expertise in libraries and frameworks such as Backbone.js, Knockout.js, Polymer, React, AngularJS and Angular, Pablo Dielman built his career in a wide range of companies, encompassing internationally acclaimed tube sites, fintech startups and award-winning gaming and gambling sites. He currently works as a senior front-end engineer and Angular specialist for Red Hat, the multinational company providing open-source software products to the enterprise community. Now, before we start, let's have a look at our journey at one glance. The first section, creating our first component in Angular, covers semantic versioning. This is an important concept to grasp, so you know whether to adopt new releases based on your needs. It also introduces the reader to the Angular CLI, and the reader will be taking their first steps into writing an Angular application. We'll also introduce you to the most popular IDEs and plugins. The next section, introducing TypeScript, which is the chosen language for coding Angular apps. There's more to TypeScript than just adding types. Your code can be made elegant and more secure, and using the right features will save you from typing quite a lot. The next section, implementing properties and events in our components, which show how to send data to components and how to bind methods to them, so that the components have the ability to communicate upstream. Then we'll take a step further with enhancing our component with pipes and directives, where we'll show you how you can make your component more consistent and reusable with the help of pipes and directives. The fifth section, building an application with Angular components, dives right into our goal of building a real application. We address how to think and how to use the most common structural directives in order to control how the data should be displayed and act when being manipulated by UI elements. Following that, we'll move on to explain Firebase, which is a product by Google that allows you to have a back end as a service. Firebase lets you focus on binding Angular apps while it takes care of almost everything else. The best part is Firebase's reactive nature, which makes chat-like applications as well as collaboration apps a breeze to create. Finally, we'll jump right into routing, where we'll explain the concept of routing, so you can scale your application seamlessly. By the end of this course, you'll be able to set up the workspace and the project using Webpack and Angular CLI, and use the features of TypeScript to organize the code in ES6 modules you'll be able to make your own component more consistent and reusable. Along with that, you could create multiple views and navigate between them. Last but not least, you'll be able to scale your application. We assume that you are familiar with HTML, CSS and JavaScript to a certain degree, as well as calling services with Ajax. We'll also assume that you have a fair understanding of REST. Modern web application development has become quite a daunting task, but it's our hope that you will, after having finished this course, feel that you understand more about what's going on, and that you'll also feel more than able to take on your next web development project using Angular. As you will spend most of your time writing JavaScript, HTML or CSS code, we only assume that you have access to a decent text editor. The more accomplished editor you use, the more help you'll get, which is why we introduce some plugins and best practices in this course, to make your everyday work less painful. Let's not wait and get started with this amazing journey right now.